A 10-foot tall, 10-foot wide truck is approaching a tunnel on a one-way road. The arch at the tunnel's entrance forms the upper half of the ellipse. Oh, my gosh. What do you think a good idea to start with? I almost gave you a hint there. Let's draw a picture. So we have an upper half of the ellipse. You're told that it's 15 feet high at the center, and the base is 12 feet. So by design, this is a vertical ellipse centered at the origin, which means we can use this formula. What's our A? No, just 15. What's our B? Six, because the minor axis is 12 feet long, so half of that would be six. So our equation would be x squared over six squared plus y squared over 15 squared equals one. Well, as a hint, this is x, this is y, yes. And it's a one-way road, so it makes sense for the truck to go down the center of it. OK. So here's a possible drawing here. So we have this square truck. I'm assuming the wheels are underneath. So we don't have to worry about that part. But if it's 10 feet wide, how far is it from the center of the road? Oh, as I give you the answer there, darn it. Five. So this is 10. That means this is 5. So the whole idea is, if we put 5 in for x, and we go to solve for y, it's got to be a number that's at least 10. If it is, then the truck's going to fit through. Otherwise, not good. The truck's going to hit that arch, probably take it down, which would not be good. So we're going to put on 5 and for x, and we hope we get a number that's at least 10 for y. Is that okay? Okay. So putting 5 in for x, if you want to square that out, this would be 25 36 plus y squared over, oh, uh, is that 225? All right. Equals 1. So if you subtract 25 36 from both sides, you get y squared over 225 is 1136. So if we multiply both sides by 225 and then take the square root to solve for y, I don't know the answer. Y is approximately 8.29. Is the truck going to fit? Nope. That's sad.